The Partnership for Clean Competition funds scientific anti-doping research all over the world. And the PCC's Scientific Advisory Board reviews grant submissions. Today, we would like to share insider knowledge about some of the common pitfalls that can lead to applications being rejected. This way, you can hopefully avoid these pitfalls in your own application. One of the major reasons for applications not being selected for funding is a lack of practical applicability to the anti-doping ecosystem. Because at the PCC, we want to implement new science and new methods into labs and real-world solutions. And if your research isn't going to be feasibly implemented into a lab, or if it's not solving an important problem in anti-doping, then your project is probably not a good fit for PCC funding. And a really great way to make sure that you're on the right track or that your science is going to be implementable is to consult with an anti-doping expert. And we recommend reaching out to a lab director via the World Anti-Doping Agency, or WADA, website. All of the contact information you need will be there. The lab directors will be a wealth of knowledge, and they'll be the best people to really tell you, yeah, that solution would be useful for us, or you know what, we don't really need that right now, and that's not a problem that we're facing right now. So do your research and make sure your project will be solving a real-world problem in anti-doping. Good luck! <laughs>